In the last video, we made our containerized fast API project production ready. In this video, we'll deploy it into the production with Cloud Run. In the Docker Compose file, we have command statement, we can use it as default command by specifying it in the Docker file. Now, open the terminal. We don't want the virtual environment, so we can deactivate it. We can build the Docker image now. We are going to use Docker registry. So we have to name the image accordingly. And, associate a tag to it. First, let's create a repository in Docker Hub. Name it, Fast API Project. And hit on Create. Once the repository is create, we can build and push the image. The image is built now. Log in into Docker CLI by using Docker login command. I am already logged in. Now, we should be able to push the image into Docker Hub. Once the image is pushed, we can reload the repository page. And yes, the image is here now. We can now go to Cloud Run Dashboard. Hit on Create Service button. Provide the name of your Docker image and specify the tag. You can select the region according to you. I'll leave it to default. We have to allow unauthenticated invocations. In the container settings, specify 8000 port. Because, it's the same that we specified in the command. Command, we can ignore here, because we have already provided it in a Docker file. Memory, we can reduce to 128, because, this is a very lightweight image. CPU, we can leave to the default. Now, we can add our environment variables. In our production environment file, we have one variable. Let's write it here. Now, we can hit on the create button. Okay, that was a fast deployment. Now, let's open the generated URL. And hola! Our fast API project is already live in the production. Let's go to the Swagger UI. Try it out. And, execute. Yes, this is also working. The connection is also SSL certified. Now, what to do if we want to update the server? Let's see. We will go back to our code base and change hello to hello world. Save the file. Now, we'll build the Docker image again, but this time with a different tag. Let's call it 1.0.1. .1. Once the image is built, we can push it to Docker Hub. The image is successfully pushed. We will edit our deployment. And, change the image tag.
and hit on Deploy. Done, it seems to be updated. Let's check the API response. So earlier, it was hello. Let's hit on execute button. And hola! It's now giving updated API response. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Share it with your fellow coders. Drop a like if the tutorial was worth it. And subscribe to the channel, it motivates us to create such helpful videos. Happy coding!